Hey everyone, what's up? I'm Haley Bright. And I'm CG, and we're here with GirlGamer.com. And today we're going to go behind the scenes at the Namco Bandai headquarters in Tokyo, Japan. <laughs> We're gonna get some exclusive footage of the new arcade game, Tank Tank Tank. Come on, let's go check it out. This is Haley Bright for GirlGamer.com here at the Namco Bandai headquarters in Tokyo, Japan with Katsuhiro Harada, the series producer on Tekken 6. Tell me, what was the biggest challenge in turning a famous arcade game into a home console version? Well, perhaps it's the user base is quite different uh, from the arcade version as it so sells uh, widely abroad and the fan base itself is quite, uh, it varies depending on the, the country. And so the requests we get from country to country is often quite different. Not only that, the, but the online versus mode, uh, we had to really make sure that that was top class uh, when we ported it to the console version. Can you tell me about the rage and the bound systems that you guys added to this game? The rage system is something new for Tekken 6, uh, where once your health is depleted to a certain amount, uh, this system kicks in, and it powers up your tax roughly 1.3 to 1.5 times what they would normally be. Uh, so this always allows you a chance for a comeback if you're losing, and uh, just keeps the match interesting until the end. Uh, also, there's the bound combo, and uh, Tekken's always been known for its aerial combos where you launch your opponent and juggle them in the air. Uh, however, now you can bounce them off the ground at, at the end of the aerial combo, and uh, you can also have more variations of the juggles or also use other moves inside of the combos that you normally wouldn't use. And the game has eight new characters, two that are non-playable. Um, can you tell me about some of those new characters in the game? Well, uh, there's actually quite a lot of new characters, but just to, to give a brief uh, breakdown, we have uh, Bob, who's a <coughs> very large, robust American character, uh, who's very agile and quick, though. Uh, there's Leo from Germany, the first German character, who uses a style of kung fu called Baji Chuan. Uh, there's also Miguel from Spain, and he's basically uh, a brawler, so he doesn't really have a, a, a style per se. He just uses brute strength. Uh, there's also Zafina, uh, she's our first Middle Eastern character, who uses uh, assassination arts, and uh, her movements are really unique looking. There's also Alisa, who's a robot, and uh, as such, she can take her head off and use it to explode uh, her opponents, or she has chainsaws that come out, and she can fly and shoot off her hands and such, so she's really unique as well. Uh, there's Lars, and uh, he's a very a quick character, uh, so he, he moves, his, uh, the acceleration of his techniques is something to really uh, look forward to. Uh, not only that, but in the, the main mode of the console release, the scenario campaign mode, uh, it's kind of like his story is portrayed uh, through that mode, so you can kind of get a background of uh, what kind of character he is and his, uh, where, how he came into the Tekken universe. And can you tell me when the game is due out and on what platforms it's going to be released on in the U.S.? Uh, so Tekken 6 will be out uh, for the PS3 and the 360 uh, October 27th in the U.S. and uh, regarding PSP uh, this fall. We're taking a closer look at the wireless controllers that will actually be coming at the special edition of Tekken 6 pack. So the first thing I notice is that this is wireless and it's Hori. So what made you decide to go with Hori? Well we've had a long-standing relationship with Hori over the years as they've uh, made several of the sticks for uh, various installments in Tekken for us. When we wanted to, to do a stick for the 360, uh, they were one of the only makers that had a license to do so, to release official sticks for the system. 
and uh, since we wanted to release for both 360 and PS3, naturally that was a, a good choice. Uh, not only that, but uh, Tekken is very popular abroad in uh, Europe and the U.S., and Ahori also has the production capabilities to pr uh, provide the sticks in all the regions that we wanted to release in. This is basically your classic stick here, with the you have the Japanese and the American, um, but Tekken only really uses four buttons, so how come you don't have a custom Tekken stick with just four buttons? Of course, if you just think about the verses in arcade modes of Tekken, you only need uh, four buttons. Uh, however, this time, one of the, the main modes, the scenario campaign mode, uh, if you use a fighting stick, you use the, the R1 and the L1 buttons. Uh, for both to, to move freely around the screen and to change uh, targets. So we, we thought users might want those on the stick. Uh, not only that, but uh, we wanted them to be able to use the stick with other games that they might own, so we uh, decided to include all the buttons. Um, I have to admit, one of the things I was a little bit worried about was the quality, because when you hear the price point, you're like, wow, that's extremely cheap. I mean, that's cheaper than a lot of regular wired sticks. So were you at all worried when you saw the first prototype from Hori about the size of it and the quality? Well, uh, like you said, uh, if you want a high level of quality, it often costs quite a bit for some of these sticks. Uh, so when we originally purchased Hori, uh, there were actually several requests that we had from our side that we wanted to make happen. Uh, for example, the, the height of, and the width of the stick, uh, the layout of the buttons, all of that was done to try to match the Tekken 6 arcade cabinet, of course. Uh, not only that, but uh, the, the space that players have to rest their hands on, uh, the feeling of when it sets, sits in your lap. Uh, these were the various conditions that we had uh, also to uh, kind of answer fan feedback as well. Uh, so we, we approached Hori with all of these requests. Uh, and of course the, the cost can become quite high, but uh, in producing uh, a great number, uh, a lot of quant uh, quantity of these sticks, uh, we are able to bring the cost down a little bit. So uh, that was one of the things that we negotiated with uh, Hori about. Are you going to be able to purchase these standalone, or do you have to order the special edition pack? It's just going to be part of the, the bundle, so uh, we don't have any plans at the moment to release it uh, by itself. So if you want one, you have to hurry. Hey guys, we had a ton of fun here in Namco Bandai. I got to play some retro arcade games as well as some games that aren't even out yet, and I got a hands-on experience with the brand new Tekken 6 wireless arcade controller. All of this thanks to our sponsor, Runes of Magic, The Alvin Prophecy. All right, that wraps it up at the Namco Bandai headquarters in Tokyo, Japan. I'm Haley Bright, and this is CG for GirlGamer.com. Runes of Magic, The Elven Prophecy.